For Jason DeSanto, a measure of freedom and independence may one day be on the tip of his tongue. Is it in good position? The unique headset he is wearing allows him to steer his wheelchair with his tongue. It is the brainchild of Maison Govanlu, a researcher at the Georgia Institute of Technology. There is this strong connection between brain and tongue. So even people with high-level spinal cord injury, they don't lose their movement of the tongue. Jason's life changed in a split second in April 2009 when he dove into a swimming pool. I had my head on the bottom of the pool and uh, broke my neck. So I have uh, my shoulders, my head and neck. But uh, everything below my shoulders is uh, paralyzed. It just takes me a while to eat because of my throat. It's hard to overstate how much Jason's life has changed since the accident. There's a psychological battle. What have I done to my family? Um, you know, my parents are really kind of upbeat as much as they can be, but they're, um, they're really devastated. My wife is really upset. You know, I, we try to remain upbeat as much as possible, but it's not always the case. And there is the stark reality of his physical limitations. Sorry, I have a little spasm here. My wife, you know, takes really good care of me, feeding me, brushing my hair, brushing my teeth, you know, turning on the TV, changing channels. Um, I can't do much because I have no use of my hands. So, so do we have a magnet here for me to test? For the past four years, Maison Govanlu has been working to improve life for quadriplegics like Jason. With support from the National Science Foundation, he and his team have devised a headset that responds to a magnet. This, along with a wireless connection and navigation software, will allow Jason to steer a wheelchair with his tongue. Tongue has so many degrees of freedom that you can touch every single tooth in your mouth with the tip of the tongue. A course is laid out at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, where Jason receives treatment. Using a dental adhesive, a small magnet is temporarily glued to Jason's tongue. Two sensors are attached to each side of a headset. Those sensors will detect changes in the magnetic field as Jason moves his tongue inside his mouth. Well, for the left turn is moving my tongue to the left-hand side, and then the same for the right and then forward and back is on the top of my mouth. The sensors send the information to a laptop or maybe someday a smartphone, which transmits that information to the device, in this case, the wheelchair. But it can control other things as well. You could control the TV, you could access a computer, you could drive your wheelchair, you name it. Anything that can be connected or controlled by a computer can then be controlled by the tongue drive system. I thought it was really uh, quite easy to uh, move around and uh, control the chair. Jason says it's easier than the sip and puff method he uses to operate his current wheelchair. And since the tongue driver could help him control any number of devices, like the TV or his computer, it means even more of the most precious commodity of all, independence. Jason can easily shut off the tongue driver with his tongue when he wants to talk. And he can appreciate this on a professional level as well. He's an electrical engineer. This is just a test drive. <laughs> a commercial version is still years away, but Jason can see and touch the future right here. Eventually, researchers hope to shrink the device into an out-of-sight mouthpiece with a tiny magnet pierced on the tongue. You know, I wouldn't stand out as much. Sometimes it's a little hard being in a wheelchair, being out in public. People don't know how to approach you. So I think if the less awkward I look, the better and easier people would be to approach me. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.